<laughs> you know, the chonclas, they gotta go away too. Mm. <laughs> this has been an awesome journey. Two years ago and last year, I spent my time in AAA in uh, Oklahoma City, so just to be up here and be given the opportunity to play every day in the big leagues, it's special and I don't, I don't take it for granted. Oof, just like that, crispy. Alex Verdugo, or Albert to his teammates, has come a long way in the two years since living with former Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun in Oklahoma City, adjusting to AAA life away from home. Albert, Albert, you have to wake up. Come on, let's go. What happened? <laughs> let's go, Albert. You gotta wake up. This guy, he's a Dodgers and a big SpongeBob fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, big SpongeBob guy. Oh, uh, man. What time is it? Uh, 11.30. The what is going on? It's 11.30, dude. Come on. Who's up at this hour? Ooh. A lot of people. <laughs> Guys, we still have it. As you can see, there's it's a, it's come apart a little bit at the tooth, but like it's perfect, dude. When I sleep, man, the, the other pillows like they'll they'll get me good, and then this one will just like do the final little prompt, and you know it'll, it'll keep, get me keeping right, keep that neck feeling good. This is the only thing that can hold me down, all right? That's it. This holds me down. This is my day one. Mother, give me a hug. I'm out of here. I love you. I love you. Good to see you. Punk. That's how we talk to our mothers. You know, I'm a little bit different, a little bit more out there, a little bit more open with myself, so. You know, I'm not afraid to laugh at myself either, really, so it's just for anybody who gets to know me and gets to talk to me and extended amount, you know, I feel like they all, they're like, man, that's just Doogie, bro. He means well, you know, he's, he's a little bit crazy, a little bit much, but, you know, it's, it's all in a good way. Off the field, Verdugo exudes personality, and on it, the young outfielder has produced a combination that makes him a popular teammate. We gotta do, we gotta supply the hype to us. Got it. We gotta get the boys to 705. Get the boys to 705. What? It's a real dog tested by the kid. The kid. He calls himself the kid. I'm loaded, baby. This, <laughs> this, this club. Sell that. This guy, I'm loaded, baby. Loaded. Bless! Hey. <laughs> You know, I feel like the team, the team, the guys, the veterans, they've really like kind of, you know, gravitated towards me and, and grabbed on and just, you know, like accepted me for who I am. I think part of it comes with, you know, performing on the field. For me, you know, every time I'm in the moment or the, you know, a big key spot in the game, I feed off of it. I love it. You know, it's just, that's, that's where I want to be. I want to be the guy that comes through. I want to be the guy that, you know, people want people want up in that situation. So, you know, for me, the way I think about it is, you know, when I get in those situations, like, you know, I have the upper hand, like not, not the pitcher. This is Edwin Diaz on to try and close it out. 8-5 game, bottom of the nine. It'll be interesting to see if the Dodgers can find some magic here. Went with a fastball, lifted to right center field, way back there. Conforto's out of room, it's gone. Jock Peterson leads off the ninth with a home run. And now it's Muncie. 
Unseated deep right. That ball's hooking. Gone! One run game. After back-to-back -back home runs, the Dodgers load the bases, setting up one of those key situations for Verdugo to take advantage of. Nowhere to put Alex Verdugo. Edwin Diaz, the leader in saves across baseball the last two seasons, and it is not close. Fly ball left center field. Backing up Gomez, makes the catch. Here comes Bellinger. What a magical night. From down 8-3 to win it 9-8. We're just come from behind win of the season. They're 37-19. The 37th win of the year might be the sweetest so far. Alex, congratulations. You guys come down from a five-run deficit to be able to get the win tonight. You can do it in a variety of ways. We're nasty, you know, the boys, the boys can hit. The boys can hit. Right man, right spot. Oh, no, no. Hey, don't let the kid get the base the ball out. A few days later against the Phillies, another Dodger rookie gets his chance to play hero with his team locked in a 3-3 tie late in the game. I came up, took a couple of good splitters down and away. Fell behind two strikes pretty quickly, but I wasn't panicking or anything. I knew I was seeing the ball well. Two and two to Smith, who takes low and outside, three and two. I was pretty sure he was going with the splitter again, 3-2. So I was kind of, wasn't really sitting splitter, but I was definitely aware that another one might be coming. 3-2 is hit in the air down the left field side and deep. It is back. It is gone! A walk-off winner! The first career walk-off home run for Will Smith! I was glad my parents could be out there. It meant everything to me. They were, they were pumped. The moment of his life. Now he's going to be pummeled at home plate. They let the kid get hot, so, you know, that applies to everybody. That was awesome. <laughs> I mean, I think that was the first walk-off I've ever had, first home run in big leagues. Couldn't have asked for a bigger stage and a bigger moment. I'll remember that forever. 